guys, welcome back to my channel and today for Freak Week I filmed this butterfly fairy type thing I guess. I was inspired by some of my favourite artists, so first off Jordan Hans and then second of all is my good friend Billy. Bill House Van Houghton is her Instagram name. Again, if you're into your crazy makeup and Halloween looks, you will be absolutely obsessed with Billy. I'll leave both their profile details down below if you want to check them out. I have this new series on my channel in preparation and in celebration of Halloween called Freak Week. So basically, every day this week, I've uploaded a video for Freak Week. Just going to jump right on in. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you at the end. Starting off with my Krylon Cream Water Paint Palette. I'm just taking that on a flat foundation brush and just painting it all over my neck and chest. Like in Jordan's video, I'm just going to start creating these kind of butterfly wing shapes at the edges. I'm just taking a mixture of a yellow and then a pink as well. I'm just going to highlight and kind of shade using these colors just to give the butterfly wings a little bit more dimension just so they're not like a flat orange color. Then taking the black on my small concealer brush, I'm just going to start outlining the edges of the wings. So if you have a butterfly picture reference beside you, that's what I would recommend, what's going to be best, because you'll be able to see all the details in the wings, how they're thinner in the center of the wing, if that makes sense, and then how they come thicker towards the edges like I'm doing there. Just creating smaller wings then on my neck. Again, this is where your reference picture is going to be super important. You can just use it to start filling in all the little details of the wings. The smaller details then inside the wings, inside the little, yeah, wings. Um, I'm just going to start creating smaller little lines. You can switch up your brush if you want to. It should be looking something like this. Now, I still want a little bit more dimension to the wings. So I'm taking this bright orange from my Saharan Desert palette and also number 63 blusher from Inglot and I'm just going to start shading the edges of the butterfly wings just to give it a little bit more dimension and a little bit more colour basically. I've seen this from Jordan's look as well and I loved it. I'm just taking lots of water mixed with the black and creating dripping effects just to the edges of the wings. I just think it makes it look a little bit more artsy for artsy, a little bit cooler. Then using some white paint and a small little bullet brush, I'm just going to start creating the little white dot details. So have them all different sizes and kind of group them together as well in like threes or whatever you want, just to kind of make it look more butterfly-ish. Now to the face, I'm just going to use this Milani blusher. It's absolutely gorgeous because it has got a golden sheen to it. And I'm just putting that all over my cheeks and forehead. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. I'm taking this shade here and basically covering myself in this. Butterfly slash Tin Man is what we're going for. Then just going to start on the eye, I'm taking a tiny, teeny little paintbrush, literally a paintbrush from the art and hobby shops. They are the best brushes for detailed work like this. And I'm just going to start creating the wings on either side of my eyes, basically doing the exact same thing we did on our neck and chest, just translating it onto the eye area. So the shape of it is kind of the thing that you want to figure out most. So you can see I'm going back and forth looking at the other eye that I did and then just filling in the details as I go. Filling it in and shading it the exact same way we did underneath as well. And this is where I copped that I didn't do the yellow eyeshadow first. <laughs> it's absolutely fine though. I'm just taking 60 eyeshadow from Inglot and just blending that over the lid. Ideally, that should have been done first. Just filling in all the little details again on the butterfly wings. And I also did the dripping effect coming from these wings as well. I thought it looked really, really cool. I just love the look it gives. Taking these jewels from the Gypsy Shrine and just sticking that above my eyebrow and underneath my eye as well. One little dot underneath my eye. I used jewel glue to stick this down just because the adhesive isn't sticky enough in my opinion. And on then to my body, I'm taking this gold jewels and also this gold glitter from Glam & Co Cosmetics and just sticking that all over the very edges of the wings. This looks unreal when you're moving. It just gives like a really cool metallic 3D effect. I'm obsessed. 
setting the glitter in place with my Morphe setting spray just to make sure it doesn't fall off. And then again, sticking down these jewels with some duo glue. These are the exact same jewels that I use in my glam skull tutorial. So you can just get them in your art and happy shop. I wanted my lips just to be bare and glossy. So I just popped on some Desi Dosa colors over the top lip gloss. And that is us done. That there is the finished look for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something fun and new and different. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and to subscribe also so you don't miss any of my other videos. You can check out my other Freak Week videos as well over on my channel. Don't forget also to comment down below what you're gonna go as for Halloween. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for all your continued support, user unbelievable. I'll leave full product details down below and yeah. I'll see you in my next video. Gonna be some crack trying to get all this off now, isn't it? <laughs>